we would watch whatever we could get. But on the West Coast at that point, we only got very grainy, very bad kinescopes. Even the shows out of Chicago would, would come out here, and it was it, the, the quality left a lot to be desired. But you'd watch anything on that little square box in the corner because it was so novel and new. He could see the whole picture. He saw television being transmitted over the ocean. He saw um, countries uh, being able to see what the other country is like and their problems and that uh, they could settle their differences over a con conference table rather than on the battlefield. And he saw it as a big uh, educational tool and also entertainment. The pressure was, can we do it? Because nobody knew what we could do or what we couldn't do. And nobody could say no to you because nobody knew. It was literally learning to walk. Too often in the United States, particularly in times like these of extraordinary rapid technological change and the growth of uh, digital video and the uh, internet, that the tail is often wagging the dog here. The technological tail is wagging the dog. And we're very careful that content be a part of this equation, that we don't get so far ahead with technology that we lose the heart of the things that we're involved in. So I began to fade and then run out of ideas. I drifted a while. HBO came along. In 77, I did my first show for them. They didn't have many subscribers. 78, I did another one, and I was on my way. I've now done 13 of them, and number 14 is coming. And that is what has kept me in front of a mass audience without censorship. I don't mean just fuck shit and piss. I mean ideas that would be unwelcome on commercial enterprise television. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's competition for eyeballs, which means it's a threat to the industry a little bit. But the other factor is you get immediate feedback on what you do. And people who are creative tend to be insecure, no matter how successful they are. Writers, actors, directors. And to, to make a show, shoot it, you know, today. Two weeks later, it's on television. Two minutes after it's on television, there are already a thousand opinions about it on the internet, it's very hard to not avail yourself of that. And people are absorbing information, visually especially, very quickly. You don't have to, you know, to give them a whole lot of stuff to, for them to get it. You know, there's multitasking, which is part of our new, you know, lifestyle. We don't need linear thought as much as we used to. All of this is affecting the way scripts are being written, the way films are being viewed, the way films are being shot. You know, um, the idea of the moving camera, you know, was an anathema back when I started. Nobody would, you know, would have that kind of a moving camera going all the time where, where it never settles, you know, or very rarely settles. And yet today, I think people expect that and, and I kind of need it in order to keep their energy up for the visual process.